Alrighty, so this is an update to my previous video. Uh, on the full release last week, the method I used to make ultrawide work uh, was patched and that no longer works. Um, so it seems pretty clear that they don't want people playing ultrawide for some reason, even though it limits your field of view and I, I think ultimately gives you a disadvantage, which I talked about in the last video. Um, it, it seems they don't want you to play that way. So we'll see how long this method lasts. Um, I think at some point we may all be playing with black bars, which sucks, but um, here's an updated version that works. There's a couple different ways to do it. Um, the main one involves switching to windowed mode uh, and then making that window full screen. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. All right, so this is one way to do it. You go here, you go video, you go windowed. Um, if you're 3440 by 1440, you got these black bars. But if you change it to a 16 by nine aspect ratio, switch it to fill, hit apply, you can confirm. And then what you're gonna do, hit the windows key or tab out. And then you're just gonna double click on the top. And this basically gets you ultra wide. Now, the downside to this is you have your windows bar at the bottom, you've got the, the window bar up at the top. If that doesn't bug you, you can do this, but when I was using this method, I had to reset this every match. So, not, a, I mean, it's annoying. Um, in Spike Rush, it's really gonna put you at a disadvantage because you don't have a ton of time in that opening round to set this up. If you're playing normal, you've got plenty of time in that first round when you're you've got extra time to buy. So you can do it this way, especially if you're playing normal mode. The preferred method is to use an app called Borderless Gaming. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, there is a free download on their website or you can purchase it if you wanna support the developers. Uh, I'll, I'll have links to both of those options in the description. What that will do is it turns any windowed game into borderless windowed. Um, so it'll take this and actually stretch it, or fill the full screen with it. So um, I'm, I've found it works better if you have borderless gaming running when you launch the game. So uh, I'm gonna close out of the game and then I'm gonna show you uh, how to start it with borderless gaming installed. All right, so when you launch borderless gaming, it may pop up, it may show up in your dash here. You can double click that to bring it up. Um, so I've, I've got this open here. Now I'm gonna launch Valorant. And when you set this up, it works better if you uh, don't have this window maximized. I, I think what happens is when this is expanded here to be you know, full screen, uh, Valorant detects that and it shrinks it or puts black bars at the start of every new match. But if you unclick that, um, and before you launch with borderless gaming, it would look like this when it's not maximized. So um, when it, if you have it like this, and then you go in, you'll click on borderless gaming. You've got all your applications here on the left. Valorant is there, uh, and you'll just click this to expand it. Now it's full screen, and uh, I'll just go over here so you can see it's it's not stretched, it's cropped top and bottom. Your field of view is definitely less, but it is taking up your full screen, um, and yeah, everything's working correctly. Uh, I'll go jump into a spike rush map just to make sure it doesn't uh, reset. This enemy is nothing special. Still human. Still mortal. All right, and we we've got full screen still. If this video was helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, whatever. Uh, also, I stream every Tuesday and Friday night on Twitch. Uh, if you want to go follow me there, that'd be cool as well. Um, thanks. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. And yeah, be in the next one. Off your feet! Enemy spot.
Woo! Open up the sky! Woo! I did a lot of damage there. One enemy remaining. 